Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. Good morning! Welcome to another video! We just wake, woke up in Anlo in Drenthe and I'm gonna walk the dogs and then we're gonna go somewhere else and last night as you can see somebody parked next to me but I had a little bit of a scare because there was nobody here everything is empty and then I was almost asleep I heard a car so I, and it stopped by my van and I thought oh gosh police I have to leave but there was nothing going on. It was just people. And then they were doing all, they went to bed quite late. And I was thinking, dudes, the parking spot is completely empty. Why park six meters away from me? <laughs> but for some reason, maybe they thought it would be fun. <laughs> I don't know. So I went to bed a little bit later than I actually wanted to go to bed. And then, uh, because it was our first night away from Piper property again, was a little bit um yeah i was a little bit anxious and i just had to get used to the fact that there are sounds you know but we're doing good we're gonna go for a little walk we're gonna have some breakfast and then i want to go to lauer's oog i think it's called because i'm already in an, in the north of the netherlands but i can go higher up and there's supposedly i've never heard of this i didn't even know it existed a beautiful place where the sea comes inwards in the land so we'll see about that and then it's the furthest part that i will go so then from that i will go lower because it's now tuesday and on sunday it's gonna be easter i'm gonna work babysitting job in haar zuilens in utrecht so then i will be have to, i will have to be back there for two days and uh so we're just gonna hang out <laughs> For a little bit here because whenever i wake up i walk the dogs i feed the dogs i walk the dogs and then i can take care of myself because i know that the dogs are just all set and that's really great So things I take care of before I start driving is make sure everything is secured. Now there's one little friend that keeps bumping when I drive because I keep forgetting to attach him, which is my friendly Buddha Buddha. And yesterday he broke his little slipper because this was like the 10th time he was bouncing around. So I'm gonna fix the slipper and then attach him over here because I think that's a cute spot for him so I'm gonna do that now because we're gonna drive away in about an hour or so half an hour and he'll be stuck there I use this stuff I've been using this for a lot of things I have a little bit left in here so that's what I'll be using now I'm going to get his little slipper and then, oh yes. and then I'm going to finish 
this. Okay, so the slipper's back on. I'm gonna attach him. Sit down, my little friend. He's immediately stuck. Perfect. <laughs> okay, that was one. The other thing is, I attached this, but it's stuck behind there, so I can't take it out. But look, it just keeps getting loose and everything accumulates behind here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna hopefully glue it on here. I don't know if I have enough. And then I will seal the top because I already put this in here before I put that in here because I wanted to place this further here but I can't because I have this on here and this and this won't budge I think I could have moved this but so the on the other option is putting a bigger one on top of here but I really don't want to be doing that so what I'm going to do is take this off glue this on and hopefully that'll stay in place and because we're going to go for a drive it can settle Okay, so I cleaned up the stuff that I used. Okay, let's see. I cleaned up the stuff that I used for the repair. I hope this is gonna work because it's so annoying that it keeps coming off. So now I'm gonna get the van ready for us to drive. I showered in my bikini yesterday, it's dry now. This can go in the laundry. I'm gonna do dishes, make sure that nothing is standing. Nothing is wobbly, so nothing can move. So I have little water bottles and all that. I'm gonna put everything in its place. Oh. Some things don't really have a place. So I just put it up there. <laughs> Some things I just shove up there. Now one really important thing that I keep forgetting that I really have to keep in mind. Oh, it's not there. Is when I start driving, I have to put the a water bottle for the dogs away because it's always in the corner next to the toilet <laughs> and then when i get somewhere i open the door there's water everywhere i'm like ah, crap. keep forgetting it but it's outside for the dogs now so i'll put it inside i'll put it in here and then when we get where we are usually half of it is still in there <laughs> when we get to the place we have to be usually half is still in there but <laughs> it's not really clever now one thing that i don't really have a place for yet is this cutting board so it sits on the countertop, but I want to get another one. <clears throat> so I usually just lay it flat and it'll stay there. And yesterday I made some soup. So I kept, well, this is starter for soup. When I made my vitloaf, which I still haven't figured out what it's called, with potato, I kept the broth. And then I put lentils in there and garlic and onion. And then tonight, I can add some water, put it in the Nutribullet, and then I will have a soup.
here as well <laughs> I forgot about that but um it's windy and colder but it's nice so I just checked out their sea over there and there's a dog walking place over there where they're allowed off leash which is of course awesome for us so we just got here it's half past one I think half past 12 not sure but we're gonna I'm gonna have lunch we're gonna chill a little bit they can have something to drink and then we're gonna go for a nice walk and see where we are because I've never been here. I have no idea. I've never been this far up north. <laughs> it's really cool. I've never been this place in the Netherlands. So I just had my lunch. We are now walking in a place that... <laughs> we... <laughs> We're now walking in a place where the dogs are off leash. It's awfully muddy and it resembles a lot of um, where I come from. It's all the same type of uh, soil because in the Netherlands you have I think two maybe three types of soil. There's at least two that I know of. You have soil that's basically people are living below sea level which is vain and it's very sorry, muddy and watery and it has a lot of different it has a lot more different <coughs> different plants than we have above sea level or not as far below i don't even know i have to look this up i'm, I'm telling you this i'm not even sure i'm gonna look it up i'm gonna put it there <laughs> But as you can see, these places have more willows and these, this is a whole different types of trees than I had in the sand ground. In the sand ground you have a lot of rhododendron and birch and, oh, well, there's birch here too. And pines, a lot of pines. You don't see pines here. My dogs are like, mom, what? <laughs> so the reason I came here is because my parents told me it's so beautiful. Okay. Oh my. I'm getting all wet. Everything, my trousers are getting wet. Ah, it's really, it's horrible. It's really horrible. But anyway, um, my parents told me that it's really pretty here and that they have seals. So I'm going to look. We're here. We're here now because I found this spot on Park for Night and it has. Jesus, this is horrible. Hey, you know, I'm gonna go to the other side. Look how muddy that is. <laughs> I was walking there. And Duluk is still over there. Come there! She's like, Mom, what are we doing here? It's so messy. In the Netherlands, we have seals on the coast, but not so many. But we have these little islands off of the coast. And they live somewhere in between around there. I don't even know where exactly, but they live there. So I'm really hoping I can see a seal. But. I'm not sure if I can see a seal from the mainland because I saw people seeing seals when they do a tour. <laughs> but I want to see it in the mainland. I want to see I want to see seals because I really love that. I haven't seen a lot of seals. I've been to Tessel, which is one of these islands, and they had seals there. So okay, I'm already done with this horrible muddy <laughs> park. I don't really like it. It's similar to what we have in Zutemir and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't really like it. But um, I'm just gonna go back to the car and we'll go hang around because I'd really like to see the sea. Okay, you guys, <laughs> here's what happened. 
I started walking the dogs. It was too muddy. I didn't like it. It was like a park that was put there by people, so it wasn't really exhilarating or anything. So I got annoyed because it's really warm today. And in the Netherlands, when it's warm, it usually gets super humid. So I was feeling like, like in a sauna. And then I thought, okay, this is no fun for people to watch. <laughs> so I thought, I'll go look for a different place. So I chilled in the van for a little bit. Then I started looking for a different place. I found something, didn't really like it. And eventually we came here. We are over a dike right now. My van is on the other side of this hill, which is the dike. And we are looking at this. Closer because I want to talk about this what you're seeing here what you're seeing here is the Wadazay <clears throat> the Wadazay is the North Sea but it's the part between Holland so the upper part so Friesland and, and Groningen I want to say Groningen but <laughs> the Dutch word is Groningen so Friesland and Groningen has a uh, little islands I don't know all of them I will look them up I know it starts with Tessel and it ends with something else but what we're seeing right over there is Schiermonnikoog because we have ebb and flow, uh, the sea can just go so far back here that you can actually walk on the bottom of the sea. Now I'm not going to do it because you do go in there a little bit and I'm not wearing my boots but you, you just, it's very muddy. But um, we actually do, in this part of the Netherlands, you can actually go on a tour when the, when the ebb is there. <laughs> You can walk on the bottom of the sea and then you can walk all up to the edge of the sea and then go walk back. But it's really hard for your legs and I've done it before. I didn't really like it. But, oh, I see a lot of birds. I thought I saw a hare. I was like, wait, well, why is there a bunny out there? But it's birds. But it's really beautiful to look at and it's really a, a strange phenomenon. And we also have the dike behind me, which is really high. And I will show you when we go up and down that the Netherlands are... Um, the same level as the sea or even lower which is really weird when you think about it that if anything would ever happen to our dikes parts of the Netherlands would just overflow in seawater so that's weird and it's just I, I've never known anything different than that but if you think about it it's really weird we're basically living below sea level that's so strange to me so um, yeah we found this place so I'm chilling here now and there's a parking space on the other side of the dike where there were a lot of vans, a lot of other vans, which look cute. So I might stay there. It's now half past four. But um, I'm just going to Google some more about the water because I don't remember a lot that I got taught in school. But it's really cool. And these dikes, they look really new. They look like they've been improved to, to like be okay with water hitting it. And I keep thinking that these storms we've had lately... I don't know if these storms were also heading hitting here, but I keep thinking like if these storms were hitting, how high did the water go? Like, did it go all the way up there? Cause these there was so much wind, but maybe it didn't really hit here. I don't know. Will be. Will be like if mommy sits, I sit on her lap. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of birds here, and it, we're out of the wind a little bit, and it's nice. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna relax and uh, I'm really a little bit like confused because these these ducks are eating in the water, but this is salt water. And in my thinking, these are sweet water ducks. So like, how are they eating this? What are they eating? Why are they okay? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought they lived in fresh water, but I guess they don't. <laughs> Okay, well, we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit and enjoy the birds.
Odyssey goes all the way from North Holland to Friesland, Groningen, all the way up to Denmark. Really big. I didn't even know that. I thought it was just Dutch. <laughs> it's not Dutch. We have a Dutch part. So much fun. I really wanted to see a seal, but I have no idea where to go look for it. <laughs> They're not here. for me too busy you hear a tractor in the back so that's noise right now but I wanted to go somewhere nice so I went to another place called Moddergat which actually means translates to mud hole or mud bum whatever you want to pronounce gat or whatever you want to interpret it gat as because gat is a hole or your bum but <laughs> so it's called Moddergat we are here and it's in Fries Friesland and we're gonna walk around here and it looks really nice and really cute so we're gonna stay here tonight so what's a lot of fun to me is that uh, the Frisian people so Friesland people have their own language so they have a signs here which says Moksobank wij and then <laughs> it says wij ni in edere moksobank trekt or kant si dijk <laughs> I don't know what it says You guys, it's so cute Look at this street They have all of these Oh, this house is for sale This, this cute house it's so stunning. It's so cute. They're all like these small stone tiny houses. Kind of reminds me of cottages in England. They are so cute. <laughs> Pilu, naughty girl, Rrr, naughty girl. They are all alive. Normally, when I find them, they are washed on, so they are open. But these are all alive. So normally, they're like this, but they're all alive. Yeah, well, most of them are. That's so cool. Oh, I want to get off here because I'm walking on them. But of course, it makes sense because normally shells they get emptied and then they wash onto shore. But these are just laying here waiting for the water to come back. I'm so happy I decided to go over here because this is quiet, it's cozy, it's cute, we can just walk past the sea. This is the way I like it. <laughs> Oh, I was so annoyed. <laughs> it was so busy. It's so beautiful here and the uh, sea is coming back, which is really cool. There's like these little sheep with the babies. Yeah, it's really cool. I was hoping I would see like a seal laying here, but I don't think they're here.
guys, it's so cool. Everywhere in this town, they have signs in all in the uh, front yard, front yards for old houses to explain when the house was built. Uh, I think these houses are monuments. When the house was built, why it was built, what was the original purpose, and what the purpose is now. And it's really cool to see all these houses. And it's just they have so many. Uh, here, oh, there's been a disaster. Yeah, I want to find out about that. There's a sign here about disaster. But they have so much history here and they keep it alive by just having it on signs and just portraying it every... It's like a true fisherman's village. So a lot of people have these um, anchors in their front yard. And it's so cool and it's such a... It's very peaceful and my mom said like maybe in... in um, Holiday season is really busy here, but for now it's really calm and it's so cute and these houses Like this is like somewhere you can have a drink <laughs> It's so cute and Yeah, it's beautiful and I hope we can stay here tonight because I will feel very calm This is a cute cute little town to stay in. Here's the sign of the monument that's up there Let me show you the monument is up there and I saw the monument. I didn't know what it was about but in 1883 they went uh, fishing in the spring because in the winter they couldn't fish so in the springtime they were very eager to get fishing and then storm hit and of 22 boats that went out only five were okay and 38 fishermen drowned on the 5th and 6th of March and um, of course this was a really tiny town so 38 people drowning that's a lot of the community Plus, they left their women and children behind. And I was thinking, the 5th and 6th of March, we had huge storms this year, like a week before that. And I can imagine if you go out fishing thinking you're okay and your boat capsizes and everything is screwed, then yeah, that's horrible. <music> So this is our parking spot for tonight. Pilou's freaking out because there's a dog over there. It's really beautiful and it's next to a shrimp factory. This used to be a shrimp factory where they would make uh, chicken food. But they stopped that and it's like a little monument so they kept it but it's really pretty. So here you can see the magic of the Wattensee. <laughs> this afternoon it was all Watt and now it's all ocean or sea. It's so pretty. So I just had a shower because it was so warm today. I really want to have a shower. So I made like a barely two liter shower so I could rinse off. That was amazing. And then I, um, yesterday I had this water left because I boiled the potatoes in Vidlov. And now I added, yesterday I added lentils. They were done now. So I put it in a Nutribullet and I warmed it. And now I have soup, which I'm very happy I did because otherwise I would just not eat any vegetables today. <laughs> So I'm happy that I did that. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next video, I'm gonna visit one of my former horses. I think he's now 25 or 26 years old and um, he's still alive and he lives here in Friesland. So in the next vlog, I'm gonna go there and we're gonna go say goodbye to him and it's still gonna be in Friesland. So we're gonna see some more of Friesland. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures. Bye.